If you've ever gotten a balloon and released it, I think I can say for the majority of boys that we can call them basically PG versions of missiles. That was Actually a rocket. A missile is a guided rocket, so yeah. I went online to go and find uh, inspiration for this project, but as usual the results were pretty disappointing. But wait, what's this? A perfectly made rocket example with two stages to increase maximum range? Yeah, nah. You see there's two problems with this. First is that personal problem. I don't want my rocket looking like a Su-27 air intake. And the second being a more technical reason. If the rocket was, I don't know, split into two parts, as you can see in the diagram, it tends to lose its center of mass, which causes it to tilt and therefore crashing the rocket before it starts. So in order to fix this, I went and spent two whole days designing a plan myself. Now, as you can probably see from the test, the rocket was basically, well, useless on its own, as it couldn't propel under its own weight. But with further testing, which well, with giving it assisted launch, it proved that the rocket could be propelled forward and continue its journey at a longer distance and range if I give it some extra propulsion. Now, in order to solve the assisted launch problem, I developed a launching system for the balloon rocket which would hold, it, hold down the balloon until it flew out. And with this, I developed an over-engineered launch system that I don't think was necessary, but yet yeah, here we are. In this part of the video, I think I spent, what, 20 minutes filming it to explain the launch itself, and so I cut it, of course, because it was boring. And it also shows the test that I did. It splits and launches the mechanism, whatever. But you see, there's a problem with this. So in order to solve that, I put on these little braces. So I printed a few that would strengthen the bracket. That's the launcher, basically. Jeez. Now with the launcher explanation concluded, the next part was me showing you how to assemble it, which was also long and boring, so I skipped that as well. This is it's a lot of pull. Pull this pin. Is this locks in the balloon? Now with this launcher basically done, I did experiment with it for quite a while and did some tests and fixed up some minor issues. Now as usual, I found the reason with the delays and well, vaguely explained the answer is friction and that is the reason. And so in order to fix this problem, I just rounded the braces of the launcher. So as you probably know by now, one balloon isn't powerful enough to, well, propel itself far enough, I would say. And with additional weight of the frame, or body of the rocket, uh, and additional stuff, obviously it's not going to go very far. About 300, so... Uh, 3 meters, yeah, 3 meters. So in order to fix this problem, I would have to separate the parts into a two-stage balloon missile. Which does make it cooler, I guess. Hopefully it works. And then I have this. Just gonna go inside the core. Uh, something like this. Yeah, I don't really think this through, eh? Oh, and it's leaking air. Alright, so this is how it goes. Something like that? 
Now with a two-stage mechanism, test going very well, surprisingly for a first test, and the mechanism being very self-explanatory, honestly I think we can move on very quickly and end this I mean, video. Now with the mechanics of the rocket, I would say oh, done, it was time to move on to the shell of the rocket to make it actually look like somewhat of a rocket. Yeah, maybe I'll make it a bit nose heavy. I mean, it's not meant to fly to space anyways. Alright guys, it was meant to turn out into something like this where it neatly fold together. But, yeah, I messed up. But it's not, it's not even symmetrical. Honestly, the cone is straighter than my grades, but otherwise, uh, time for the final tests. Now what's being tested here is the bottom half of my rocket and honestly it's not that bad in range but with my experience with success it's only going downhill from here. I really didn't think this through. Um, how am I going to fit it now? It's a clamp holding it here and I gotta shove it through like that. But I can't go from the other side because there's a whole missile tube there. Figured it out. Now, time for some testing. Exactly. Now, as you can see by this point, the missile was actually really, really failing. I jinxed myself back there. Now, please believe me when I say, but I've actually tried every single way I can get this balloon to do as it has to do All right, and propel the shell forward. And as you can see, it's really not working. And honestly, this project is basically like eating junk food, because in the end it's going to turn to shit. Now, I would like to just not show this video because it's such a failure and really boring in my perspective. But since I don't have a large audience, if I do not upload for, let's say, it, I think it's been, what, two months since I last uploaded, people will think I'm dead. So, yeah.